Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Beatrice, if you've not been here before, welcome back. If you have been here before, thank you for coming back. This video is a quick video for foot massage, but also to increase hamstring flexibility with a massage ball, golf ball, or a tennis ball. Come and try it with me. Hamstring flexibility and foot massage. Let's see. So, um, fascially, um, our, the sole of our foot is connected with the back of our legs. So once we massage the sole of our feet with a tennis ball or a golf ball or that massage ball, it should increase the length of um, our flexion forward. So it should give us a little bit more space to come forward with maybe even straight knees. So what do you want to do before massaging your feet is try a forward fold from standing and notice where, where you go. So begin to come forward. You can bend your knees to begin with. So coming down, let your arms hang or hold on to opposite elbow. And straighten the knees and see where your upper body goes. Doesn't matter if it lifts off the thighs, that's fine. Try not to force yourself down. Take a moment to notice what you can see behind you. Let the head drop. Notice where your arms are. And then inhale and roll up to standing. And come back to center. Now grab your bowl. Place it to the ground. If you have a golf ball and a tennis ball and you've never done this before, start with a tennis ball because it might be a little bit hard with a golf ball. But you have them both, so you can try. If you have them both, you can try with both. So I know I quite like the golf ball, so I'll do it with that. Starting with your right or left foot, doesn't really matter. And just roll it around the foot. You can start at the base of your toes. And maybe come up through the center of the foot, the arch of the foot. You can come back to the big toe mount. maybe come down to the heel of the foot. Ideally, we want to do about one minute on each foot so you can really get the benefit. You might find some areas a little bit achy. That's really normal. Um, depends on obviously as well if you wear shoes all day, um, what type of job you, job you do. Of course, if you do something that keeps you on your feet in shoes all day, this is going to be a bit intense and that's fine if you're a runner and also if you're a waitress or a waiter um, if you do yeah any job that keeps you on your feet you're an athlete the words um, sports shoes all the time constrictive shoes if you dance and then come to center first before switching side. Just bring that foot to the ground and feel the difference. Mm. Feels really nice. And then go into the other side. Same thing. Starting at the base of your toes. down to the arch 
of the foot. And you can do this from uh, seated as well. You can do it on a chair. You don't have to be standing like I'm doing now. Maybe coming down to the heel of the foot. And usually the heel is that area that's a little bit more icky. It's got a bit of a crunch. One more moment. Take the foot to the ground, release. Notice both feet on the ground now. Take a big breath in. And on your breath out, fall forward. And notice how it feels now. Notice where you're going. Let the head drop. You can hold on to opposite elbow once again as you straighten the knees, see how what it feels like. Notice what you can see now. I can now see my ankles and before my ankles were covered by my arms. I was right about here and now I'm down here. Stay for as long as you need to. If you want to stay a bit longer and dangle a little bit, stay there. Otherwise, lift up. And release. And <laughs> notice how you're feeling. It feels like I'm a lot less heavy. My feet feel nice and soft. Hope you enjoyed this video. And please join me again soon for either a yoga video or another self-massage one. Thank you.